Every artist has a moment of transformation when they become the artist that they're going to be. In Paris, in the summer of 1887, this is the moment when Vincent becomes Vincent. Debray's garden captures this moment where Vincent finds himself for the first time, and it's a measure of just how far he's traveled since his arrival in Paris in the spring of 1886. Here, we're a, a million miles away from the somber northern realism of his Hague School period, and he's coming up with a style which is uniquely his own. He moves in with his brother Theo, and for the first and last time in his life, Vincent is suddenly at the center of everything. Through Theo's connections, he's exposed to all the very latest innovations in painting, from Monet and Degas, through Toulouse-Lautrec, Émile Bernard, Pizarro, but also the experiments in color and pointillism of Georges Seurat and Paul Signac. Paris is gripped by all things Japanese, and Vincent gets to explore the magical world of Japanese prints that will prove so influential on his later career. But at the same time, he's able to study more traditional modes of painting too at the annual salon at the Musée de Luxembourg by artists such as William Bouguereau and Jules Bastien Lepage. This is a time of frenetic activity and Vincent absorbs all of this visual information at once. And here, for the very first time, he creates something that is truly all his own. So why is this picture so special? What is so radical and original here? We see him going beyond Impressionism, trying to figure out how to use paint to convey emotion. Look at these expressive brush strokes painted very fast, wet on wet, different shapes and sizes that create a rhythm across the picture surface and where we can feel the artist in every single stroke. Vincent's using non-naturalistic color and form here. Look at the outline of the roofs here, or the pattern of these directional brush strokes, and the highly keyed color of summer in full bloom. This is a picture full of optimism and joy, and one that, with its sunflowers, looks forward to the further experimentation that Van Gogh will undergo in Arles the following year. In capturing in paint how Vincent really felt, this picture is a masterpiece from this key moment in his career.